having a minor tea break. I'm kind of wondering how many of my neighbors think that I'm a ghost. Hello and welcome. My name is Allison and on Instagram I've been working on a historical costume series focusing on Jester from Critical Role. I don't know if you've heard it or not, but Jester is a little blue tiefling girl who um, has this like amazing costume, but I thought it would be fun to see what her costume would look like uh, throughout history. So on Instagram I have um, her original costume all the way up until her regent or regency era. Um, today though, um, I'm kind of focusing in between that on a late Victorian, early Edwardian jacket. Um, I have my pattern, I have sewing supplies, and I have all of my fabric that I will need for this. So let's see what happens. So these are the fabrics that I'm going to be using for my Edwardian jacket. Um, this very lovely dark green, which is not covered in lint, um, fabric I bought from a seller off of Etsy. Um, it's a, uh, I think they describe it as like a deep foresty green garberdine. Um, it's really nice. It's this really nice like wool. I love the texture on it. Um, originally I bought it for a Regents era jacket and, um, I did use some of this, uh, fabric for it. Um, this is kind of left over from that. There's definitely enough of the dark green, but I don't think there's enough of this material, um, for that. So that's why I'm unpicking this, um, this other curtain. These two curtains I bought from work a really long time ago. I think it was for a Giselle's curtain dress and I thought it would be hilarious, but also um, kind of nice to make it from a curtain E. Um, but as you can see <laughs> um, in camera, it looks silver. So it definitely wasn't gonna work. Also, um, even though this looks like a Shantung, like look at these lovely um, kind of uh, bumpy, um, bits in the fabric. It's actually a really cheap polyester. So this definitely wasn't going to work for that project. Um, it's much better as a lining because you don't really see the lining, but also it's just like, um, shiny enough that, um, it works way better as a, as a lining, um, for Jester than for Giselle. So, um, once this is, once I'm done seam ripping this, um, both this one and this old one are going to go back into the dryer because as you can see, they're, they're wrinkly in all the wrong places. So once I'm done with that, we'll get back to it.
finished cutting out the jacket pattern, um, realized that um, probably should not have taken me all day to do that. Um, things always tend to take me really slowly, and um, I'm trying not to like stress myself out about that because everybody's under quarantine and there's no conventions, so I basically can do whatever I want. Yeah. Mmm, coffee. This is a lie. It's too hot to be 70 degrees. At this point in the process, I've sewn together the bodice darts and pinned together all of the main pieces so that I can now sew them all together. I found that if I pin and sew whole sections at the same time, it's better for my mental health because then I don't have to hop up after every single stitch because otherwise I just won't iron my seams. It does take extra prep work to plan it this way, but I don't mind it. Here I'm sewing together the bodice lining. So once I'm done ironing, um, that's when I test everything out. I don't have a mannequin, so um, we <laughs> I, I try everything out. It's the best way to figure out if um, everything fits me. So um, I think everything's gonna look really good. It fits really nicely. I'm not sure about. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this whole shenanigan over here, but I feel like once the um, the sleeves are on, everything will look good. So from here, um, I don't know, the sleeves are going to look a little weird. Well, <laughs> the I've never made sleeves this way, where um, 
you only sew the um, so one seam, then put on decoration, then um, so the other seam because it's it's a, a two piece seam, um, and then sew all of that together, um, all of the sleeve, and then attach it. I'm just realizing that I really haven't put a whole lot of decoration on sleeves, so maybe that's why it's weird to me. But um, overall, I'm very happy. Everything lines up the way that it's supposed to. Um, the inside looks really, really good. The outside looks really good. Um, excuse the uh, modern outfit. Um, it's very hot outside today. Ugh. Um, so yeah, very happy. Well, um, see what happens. So, um, the one really cool thing about this particular jacket is these fun sleeves, um, yeah, sleeves, um, when I originally wanted to create this jacket, um, I went on Instagram and said, hey, which one of these four do you particularly like, or even like a combination, and, um, overwhelmingly, with two people, uh, people wanted, um, this one. My personal favorite was this one, but I kind of wanted to do a combo of, like, this one and this one, um, because I like the, the collar, but, um, again, two out of four people said this one. Um, one person said this one, and, uh, one person said this one. So, I'm going with this one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um... These fun, like, sleeve details on here. I'm not going to have it with this kind of foofy color because, um, no, this is Wardian, um, sorry, him. So, at this point, um, I've made sure that I've had everything that I need, um, and now we're going to work on this, um, sleeve detail. The fun thing about this particular um, pattern choice is that, um, well, A, they give you four different choices that you can do, but um, there's fun trim bits here and here, and um, I don't know, just, they make me really happy. Um, the only bad part is when I went to the fabric store the other day, the only... Um, color they had was this black color and I thought well I'll just buy three of this um actually I think I bought four I bought four Ugh. um and was like well it'll be fine I, um it won't be that black um what I really needed was navy <laughs> um and I thought well It'll, it'll look like navy because it's so sparkly and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I put it on to my nice um, green. And as you can see, it's very, very black. It doesn't look navy at all. So I went back to the fabric store. Actually, I went to a different fabric store. Um, we only have two in town. Um, but they did have this nice lovely navy trim and this is just a ribbon this isn't like a cord which is what I really wanted um, this is something that I had got for um, her Jester's original costume um, fortunately I can't find this anywhere so I definitely should have gotten more than the one roll the other sucky thing is, is that when I originally did this I had cut out strips so that way I could put it on her original sleeve and do all the fun cross crisscross stuff. Unfortunately, that um, kind of fell through. It didn't work um, on the costume the way I had envisioned, and it was stressing me out. So I rolled it back up, hoping that someday I would use this. Um, I wasn't assuming that I was going to make an Edwardian jacket at the time. Um, so I'm glad that I did, because I think these pieces are going to be long enough to do all of those fun um, curly cues and stuff on the sleeves. Um, I definitely don't have enough to um, put this all on her skirt 
or do the rest of the collar, but I do have enough for the sleeves, I believe. Um, we'll find out. Uh, so that's why I also got, I had one of these already, but I also got so much more. So that way I could eventually do um, the skirt. Because I'm going to need like 30, 20, 30 uh, things of ribbon. Um, so um, this is the skirt pattern that Butterick has or made for um, that particular Edwardian jacket. I got it off both of them, um, I believe off of eBay. Um, and for Jester, as much as like these fun ruffles would be, um, or even these ones, um, it doesn't quite go with the mood that I want. So I'm going to go with this one because it matches the jacket the best. Um, yeah, um, Butterick 3418, wish me luck on the hand sewing. Um, fortunately, I only have this lovely disc. <laughs> um, I'm working on getting better ones, I, I promise. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, get to work. This is why I read the directions, kids. So, I finished um, hand stitching, although it does look like a basting stitch, so I'm probably going to go back and um, secure this a little bit better, but not at the moment. Um, I'm going to... I pinned the sleeve together, so I went back, because I was like, you know, let's just double check, make sure um, how you think this project should go is how they say it should go and uh, well they basically want you to create floating sleeves and then tack them down later and that's how they want you to secure the sleeves which uh, if you're following me from Instagram you realize or maybe know um, that that is like one of my big major pet peeves drives me nuts. So what I'm actually going to do is how I thought I was going to do this is, um, so all of the outer bodice together and the, in mm -hmm. with the exception of the sleeves, I'm going to sew lining to the bodice after I, um, I put in the collar and then um, I'm going to flip them inside out. And then um, I'm going to do the same thing with the sleeves. And then I'm going to add the sleeves to the jacket. And maybe that's not historically accurate. Maybe the floating sleeve thing is the historically accurate thing. But uh, floating sleeves never work on me. They, I don't know, move around. So they just never feel very secure and my arms are too big for them, I guess. Maybe it's not that way because I'm creating this myself, but, um, I don't know. The floating sleeves, just, why? Why? Having a minor tea break, I'm kind of wondering how many of my neighbors think that I'm a ghost? Ta-da! I have a sleeve with lining the way that I wanted it. I'm very excited. Please ignore all of the clothes that are on the floor. They're going to be donated, I promise. So now that the sleeves are good to go, I can finally start working on the collar. Um, I'm beginning here on hand sewing the stripes down. The pattern suggests having one, but two is way more visually appealing.
to get this collar to line up and the really frustrating thing is that if I have the tab things lined up, they um, it's very bunchy up here at the center back. So I'm hoping that um, because it's both even, they're like, you know, tab here, tab here, tab here, tab here. Sorry, it's like after midnight, so I'm getting a bit loopy, but I'm hoping that by having the tabs like this, it'll be um, symmetrical on both sides. Um, I already hate that it's not symmetrical here. Um, the It doesn't quite um, line up here, and I've already sewed it down. Um, so I don't want to go back and fix it. Um, so I'm hoping that if this all, everything with the collar goes the way that I want it to, when I add in the lining, um, it will cover uh, this bit. And because this is going to drive me nuts. Um, you can definitely tell um, this I perfected. Um, this is a little bit wonky, but um, oh well. Just gotta get it done at this point. Done is better than not done at all. Like think to yourself, no, sleeves aren't that bad. They're really great. And I really enjoy working on them. And then you go to do a sleeve and you're like, what was I thinking? It's, it's where I'm at right now. This is what it looks like on. Um, last thing I need to do is add the lining. I'm gonna do that next, and then that will take care of this bit. Although hopefully it will take care of the bunchiness um, in the collar. It's just it's so fake that it's like kind of being bunchy up here too. Great. Um, We'll definitely have to take out all of the bastings, it's just I have some in here too. Um, also, um, I'm really hoping that having on um, a lot of my poofy shirted stuff will help take care of the... Um, this is, is very large, um, and unfortunately because I already put on the decorations like they tell you to, um, it makes it... Um, hard to go back and, and fix it. I mean, there's there's possibly a way, but now they're attached to here. So that would be a pain in the butt. Um, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, and then attach stripes. I thought about it when I was putting them on. Um, they make me think of a sailor scout. So maybe that's what I'll dream about. Saving the world. Hello. 
So when I last left you guys, um, A, I was dealing with um, one of two days of food poisoning. Um, so I was a lot more exhausted than um, normal. Um, I also coincidentally left you at 1am, like it is right now. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update before I go back into doing things on where we're at with this jacket. So, um, I took out the basting stitches on the sleeves. Um, I also sewed down most of the lining, um, including some several blessed seams. Look at this. It looks so beautiful. Um, but I added it only to a certain point in the collar. Um, and then I pinking sheared all of that. But what I'm going to do, I think, and what I should have done, but I was not thinking clearly, um, is sew it to a further point, pinking shear that, and then top stitch it um, after pinking shearing it, and then that way it'll, it's very loosey-goosey inside here. Um, But on top of it, um, so the just the outer edge of the sleeve has been done, but none of this on here. Um, so what I really want to do is also pinking sure this. And this is this is the sleeve, and then um, pinking sure this hole, and then that way I can just kind of fold it, or maybe. Um, it would be a smidge more historically accurate to let leave this raw um, and just iron it, fold it, and then sew this to the um, the inside of this bit like that. Depends on how much mental energy I have. I think the only thing that I have mental energy for today is to. Um, <coughs> not sick it's just really dry here um it's just to um sew the rest of the lining so it's not a gaping hole and then come back to this tomorrow so I'm back with you rather quickly because um I got most of the way through one seam and then the very very end uh, my machine smashed into this pin here and I don't know if you can see it but that's a doozy it like um so yeah that's okay thought I would show you fun stuff <laughs> This gesture themed Edwardian jacket. You okay? While the process could have gone a lot smoother, it probably shouldn't have taken me a month to make, but honestly, um, life happens and um, it's a little rough out there <laughs> right now. That being said, um, I'm very happy with the results of this. Um, the skirt should Fingers crossed, take me not as long to make, but you never know what'll happen. Um, I don't know. This this next week, I'm working seven days in a row, so, and I'm also dog sitting, so I don't really want pins and things around them. Um, I'd rather not um, have to take an emergency trip to uh, the vet for my friend's dogs. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Um, no, just kidding. Um, they'll, they'll be fine. I'm, I'm not going to be sewing. Um, 
overall uh the jacket is a little bit bigger than i thought it was gonna be um i thought it was gonna be very more very much more foam fitting and i probably could have even worked on that like worked out all the kinks using a mock-up but um uh, I quite enjoy finally having a costume that's a little bit bigger, um, that way it can grow with me. Um, yes, I did this a little bit backwards, but I just went with what um, I had available, so this is, was definitely a, a stash project, which I'm very happy about, um, because that means that there's stuff not in my garage right now. Um, stash projects are always really great. Um, that's it. Um, hope you guys are having a good day, and um, stay safe out there. Um, please remember to vote. Hope to see you here next time. Um, hopefully it's not a month. <laughs> um, and if you did enjoy um, this video, please, 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 please like, comment, and subscribe.